Whew. Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? I've been busy. <laughs> been real busy. Um, so. Yes, what's up, Tercero? Let me, let me arrange my screen so I can actually see chat and stuff. I've been literally just wrapped production on Run. Uh, like, literally just shot it and then edited it in the last half hour. Um, but, uh, but I'm good. And I'm here. I'm doing a lot. Uh, playing a ton of Met Metroid Dread, uh, which if you're in my Discord server, you know, because that's all I'm talking about right now. Um, and specifically, I was playing Metroid Dread last night, being chased by an Emmy. And I was like, oh, this is terrifying. Uh, and I got this, like, very specific feeling to go write a song about it. And so I sat down and wrote an entire song about, like, Metroid Dread and, and the, the experience of playing it. So we're at, that's what we're going to do in the second half of the stream today, is play with that song, see how it, see where it goes. That might be a song for this weekend to be posted. I might do a music video for it. We'll see. Um, I did just finish Run, uh, which actually, if you all want to join me, I'm going to finish editing the thumbnail for, um, which we're going to post. So let's, uh, let's hop into Photoshop here. And you can see my thumbnail process. Uh, it's super dead simple. Uh, I have the whole music video here. I grab a single frame from it that I like. Um, and then you'll see it here. Okay, starts with literally just that frame, right? I nudge it over to the side. I duplicate it, reverse it and make it blurry. Put it over there, dead simple, right? Uh, I added a little glow around myself to help it pop more. I'm gonna do a bit more of that. I feel really, really glowy on this one. There we go. Look at that. That's nice. Uh, and then I put whatever the character is over here. Give them a little glow as well. Throw the text on in the middle. And then this is important. Uh, I I really just add a ton of contrast to the picture. Really just make it like absurdly over the top right, so it catches people's eyes. And then I'll saturate it even a little bit more. Uh, I think we're gonna add a little bit of stroke around this text, a little black outline to help it pop, and then even some outer glow beyond that. And that's a thumbnail right there. Should use the first image from the stream. Don't worry, that's in there. That's very much in there, Norberto. What's up, Super Genesis? How's it going, Blue Smash, Sack B10, B Fox? So, uh, so yeah, there's that. Let me, um, I have the upload here. Where is it? Okay, yeah, I can show you this. Um, so we're gonna upload the video here, uh, and this is just how I upload videos. Uh, this is gonna be run. What is the name of this actual mod? Is it versus Bob? This is gonna be up first thing in the morning. This is gonna premiere tomorrow morning. Uh, so y'all see this real soon, and then I'll have another video probably on Sunday, which I think is going to be the Metroid Metroid song we're writing tonight. What's up, Missing Gaming? How you doing? Literally every Friday Night Funkin' Mods. Okay, so I'll go with Versus Bob. That seems like the more like well-known version of the name, so we'll, we'll go with that. Um, metal cover, and that's probably sufficient. Uh, what I usually do here um, is... I'm just gonna go to one of my other videos and just copy the whole description. Because I've spent a lot of time on this description. There is a flashing lights warning on this one as well. Um, it's an instrumental to our remix of Run by that Funkin' Mod versus Bob. Cool, and everything else stays the same, although I didn't use this guitar in here. Uh, cool. We're gonna pick the thumbnail I have here. Uh, oh, I should save this thumbnail. And that'll go in my video folder. Let's run. There's our thumbnail. Uh, okay, we got our thumbnail. We're gonna put it on the playlist it needs to be on, which is covers, video game covers, Friday Night Funkin' covers, uh, and then everything else stays the same. 
Yes, I would like to make money, thank you. It is not offensive, except to people's ears. Cool, cool, cool. And that is going to premiere tomorrow. At 11 a.m. my time. And we'll do a one minute countdown with the dramatic one. I like this one. And that's it. You all should see, you'll probably get a notification about that if you're subscribed to me and have notifications on, which you should. Uh, and there you go, there you go. That's that's how I upload a music video. Um, cool. Let's open up Pro Tools. Let's close this. I can just save that, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's open up Pro Tools. And we're going to jump back into Split from Bob and Bossip. Yeah, if I ex it's actually not going to be a cover from Metroid, It's which is weird for me, super weird for me. I actually wrote an original song about like playing Metroid Dread, uh, like a metal tune. So, we'll see how it goes. Um... Jump into Split. Yeah, I love Split. I spent a little bit of time on the uh, the synth sound from this, but I haven't messed with much else. So this is pretty much right where we left it before. I'll check your comment in a second, sir. Sarah. <laughs> oh yeah, Def Drep's heard the the Metroid tune. Thank you, Def Drep. Yeah, any of my patrons, uh, if you're if you're a patron on my Patreon, um, my patron only Discord is pretty much where I just like post my works in progress and get feedback on them before I do anything with them. Uh, it's where you'll see all my just like <laughs> super rough drafts of things. Like they were the ones who I texted like I I've got an idea for a song, and then 15 minutes later, like, here's a thing, and I posted what I had of it. So it's they're they're the first to hear everything. All right, let's hear where Split is at right now. Let me make sure these are all still rigged up. Yes, okay. Uh, this might be really loud. Watch your ears, check your volumes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so we, we got we have like a start for this. Uh, I'm still feeling like the underlying track is missing a lot. We barely got through sketching this because we did run in the same stream, right? We did like all of run and all of this in one stream. And I think it, that stream only lasted like two hours. So we really burned through this. Let's I'm going to take the lead guitars out of this and let's just kind of go section by section getting this feeling right. Hey, thanks, Rooney. Thanks, Killjoy. Music to do homework to. Sounds good, Def Trip. I feel like this is way too distracting to do homework to, but to each their own. I need, like, straight lo-fi instrumental or jazz. Like, that's it. Oh, if Ardolf comments, that'd be amazing. I love I love their music. This is such a good song. Um, okay, section by section, taking a listen to the original, and then taking a listen to where ours is at, and seeing what we need to do to move from one to the other. Here's the original from, uh, from Ardolf. Okay, and ours. Honestly, it feels pretty good. I just want to bring these drums forward a little bit and maybe the synths back a little bit. Are these synths not going through? Ah, I have this rigged up all wrong. These have to go here. Okay. That's more like it. Okay. We're going to have these drums come in with a full dance beat here. 
which we already kind of have programmed here. Cool. Oh, Terracera, I saw that. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, but I want to. Let's put a little drum fill in here. Can't go wrong with a little dugga dugga. Let's make our samples reflect what we just programmed in the fill there. Actually kind of want to just have this one. Yeah, I just want I want these things to hit really hard, these transitions. Cool. Uh, also, we need a crash at the beginning of this. Because a crash is like, it's like capitalizing the first letter of a sentence. You always want to start a section with a crash symbol and end it with a drum fill, typically. We'll put one here. Too. Okay, now this section is kind of a build, right? So it's really just kick. There's not going to be any snare here. Big crashes. And these probably shouldn't be pumping, right? We should turn the So we have this we have this effect that's doing this like super cool pump thing on each of these. And honestly. Cool. Probably back to a full dance beat here. Yeah, the are you ready thing, right? Um, I think I have a speak and spell, believe it or not. Uh, I don't have it right now. I could install it, but it would take a while. I have a speak and spell plugin. Uh, it's not really. Useful. Uh, let's just record me saying, are you ready? And then we'll do weird stuff to it. So let's hear how he says this. Are you ready? Are you ready? It almost feels like it's three separate recordings of words. So that's what we're going to do. Um, check, check one, two. two. Okay. 
There's that. Are you ready? Ready. Damon, I think I'm going to pronounce both of those the same way, so I don't know. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Maybe we speed these up a little. R. R. Yikes. Do a little splice here. R. R. Uh, now we're going to use... Are you ready? 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 Okay. Are you ready? This is going to drive us insane. Are you ready? 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 I like this one. You you Oops. Not just that word. Thank you though. Are you ready? 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 Business phone. That's great. Are you ready? 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 Baby monitor. God, there's so many options. Why are there so many options? I like car radio. We'll go with that. This on loop would annoy most people, Elijah. Okay, we're gonna have to make that louder. Okay, we're gonna do a little micro shift to give it some, some ears. Cool. Do we not have our melody in here yet? Whoops. Elijah, the Hank effect, like just screaming it. <laughs> Maybe I like I like it out where it is right now.
And we're at the drop. Can't wait. Can't wait to get there. Okay. <laughs> we got to finish some other stuff before we get to play the drop. Do we have everything else leading up to this? There's a different bass that plays in this section. Never mind. What's up, Romina? Okay, super straightforward. So we got to spend four, me three measures getting. I gotta listen to Split EX sometime. We're doing the regular one though. I think we're getting a chat from another stream uh, because I'm technically running two streams right now. Let me kill the other one. Kill the radio for a second. Hey, Super V Gamer. Yes, that was super, super exciting. Uh, I was so, so thrilled to collab with Richard on that one. Um, I mean, he's he's absolutely one of my huge, huge heroes. Um, and so playing with him, I mean, playing with Jules this year, like, it's crazy. Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy year for me. Um, yeah, seeing his his DM come through on Twitter, it's like, oh, oh, man, <laughs> that's very cool. What's up, Braden? Okay, there should, there should be a piano chord here, too. Thank you, Tercero. <laughs> Very important little sneak peek at a uh, at tomorrow <laughs> at tomorrow's video. Thank you for that.
Okay, let's add some bass. Let's do this drop. There it is. It's still showing the radio stream. I don't know if there's anything I could do about that. <laughs> Hang on, unless I, uh, maybe I can refresh. Somebody type something. Beat drop, let's go. Yeah, we got the right one, good. Woo! Okay, we're kind of back to our beginning there. Cool. Uh, let's some guitars for these as well. Also, I think uh, 8 Bit Drummer played one of my songs on stream yesterday, Tercero showed me, which is very cool. I gotta turn off the LFO tool there. Cool. That sounds sick. Love it. Oh, he played along the, the Animal Crossing cover? Awesome. Good, that's good. I didn't get to see what song it was. Cool, that's great. I had so much fun with that uh that uh bubblegum KK cover with Lamb Genie. Okay, let's see if I can hit this. Also, it feels like there's a huge delay. Oh, from this? No, from this. Nope, that one. There we go. Oh, I know what I can do then. Cool. Okay, we just took a huge load off the processor. Uh, I promise it's not complicated, Poptronic. It's just a bunch of little pieces that you learn how they work and then you put them all together. It's it's really not bad. I missed one. That's it. Yeah. Oh. There's this one button in Pro Tools you can press that just drags you to a completely different part of the session. Super annoying. OK. 
Okay, now we turn the pumping thing back on. We play some sweet, dancey chords. Ah, I missed. Again, what's happening? Love it, and we're back. All right, this drop also needs just like some huge synth, like super saw chords around the whole thing. So we're gonna add some of that now too. Pikachu, yeah, that is the Mickey Mouse one. That's the Mickey Mouse mod, isn't it? That's the one I'm familiar with. With Happy and Unhappy. Are those the two song names? I thought about covering those. What are those chords? F minor. Cool, we got him. <laughs> we can't hear that. Let's make it quieter and dancey. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing we were doing on the guitars in here, but we're just gonna do it built into Serum, uh, like this. I goofed a couple times in there. We'll fix that. Much better. Oh, yeah, I'm doing my voice on that. Don't worry. Cool. Bring a little EQ in to uh, just kind of clean up where this is sitting. There's a very wrong note in there. What's happening? There we go.
Okay, so we got that feeling good. Oh, sorry, actually, we're, it's not feeling great because we don't have any drums in there. Whoops. Gonna go full dance beat here. I feel like most of these kids won't get that reference, nor fair to. We're just doing crazy, silly drum fills here. Big silly drum fills. Thanks, Poptronic. Yeah, we'll do crashes on all these. What's up, Abby? And once again, big crazy dance beat. Oh, we got to make the drop hit there, though. Uh... Cool. I'm gonna crash on the downbeat, too. Okay, it's feeling pretty good. I have a feeling we can copy and paste out the rest of this, right? 
There's our intro again. That's this part. Okay, second half's different. Cool. Okay, we'll just program this in. It's really different. Hang on. Can I watch your video called Draw a Banana? <laughs> Drop it in the showcase part in Discord. I'll check it out. I don't know if it's really my... I don't know if I'm the right audience for you. Let's get our uh, let's get our melody figured out, and then we'll switch over to guitars. Get the lead guitars in there. Then we'll have something resembling the full track, and we could jump over to the Metroid tune. Oh, I was right.
Have fun at school, Sane. Did I really get all that right? No, these are wrong. That's it. Cool. Uh, let's get our lead guitars back involved. Now that we have kind of the whole track laid out, feeling good about it. We got our intro down. Where'd our leads go? Yeah, definitely some stuff gets chopped up a little bit. I'm going to get to these details. This one's coming out next week, so I got a lot of time to polish this. Uh, I'm trying to get a week ahead of my tracks now, so they're not, like, rushed up to the very end uh, like I, I have in the past. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Waligook? Uh, how do I say your name? Is that close? Is that right? I always just mentally say Waluigi when I see your name. I've told you this before. Um, I've been using Pro Tools for probably 12 years now. Uh, I did take a lot of courses in it in college, but it's pretty much the same as any other music production software. In fact, I think it makes the most sense out of most of them. Uh, I do recommend starting with Ableton Live because it has an amazing 90-day free trial, and there's tons of great tutorials for it online. That's like the first... DAW, I recommend to everybody. The first music software I recommend. Nobody should ever use Fruity Loops. It's bad. I don't know why I'm playing Coheed and Cambria. Okay, here we go. Okay, we can jump right back in. I don't think there's anything wrong with you if you use Fruity Loops. I just don't recommend it to anyone ever. <laughs> I don't think it's good to learn to produce music on. Uh, I think it like actively fights you in terms of learning. Um, and uh, if, if you can make music on it, more power to you. I still don't know how to play this song. I'm just kind of spitballing here. We're going to slow things down because I'm literally still learning the basics of how this song functions. Sorry, Def Trip. <laughs> I have strong feelings on DAWs.
uh, LMMS, no. I, I truly don't recommend anything other than Ableton Live or Pro Tools or Cubase or Studio One, but those are a uh, far second to Ableton Live and Pro Tools. Cakewalk? I mean, yeah, Cakewalk's fine. Uh, Cakewalk's, uh, yeah. If you if you want to use Cakewalk, it's a solid free option. Reaper is also very good. It's not quite free, but it does have a fantastic free trial. Uh, I don't know if it's great for beginners. Um, truly, honestly, go start with the Ableton Live 90-day trial. It is totally free, and it is absolutely the best option. Then you can jump over to other stuff if you don't want to buy Ableton, but start with that free trial for Ableton Live. It's so good. All right, what are we playing here? Let's slow this down. I almost don't want to do this on stream. Just because I truly don't know this song yet. Is this possible to do with your voice? Anything's possible, Abby. <laughs> That's gonna get out of hand. All right, let's feel what we got out. Let's feel what we got right now. Um, let's figure out how these voices are split up too, right? That's Bob. Boyfriend. Oh, that's cool. It really jumps back and forth. What do they do here? Okay, so we're jumping right on the right on the half note. That's good. That's easy. I'm just going to double track this. Just bad acapella music, Def Trip. <laughs> All right, let's listen to what we got. Uh, I'm going to turn on the Make It Louder button. So, beware your ears. Behold, it is louder now.
Any song recommendations for Friday Night Funkin' lyrics? Like making up lyrics to a Friday Night Funkin' song? I don't know. One you know really well. And man, I feel like most Friday Night Funkin' songs, I was thinking about this earlier, they're like impossible to write lyrics to because they move so physically fast. Like I saw a lyrics video for Zavadilla once and it was just ridiculous. Okay, let's take a listen. Oh, you're right. We gotta do the "Here Comes the Drop" voice. I can't. I can't leave you hanging without that. Where is it? Here comes the drop. I gotta get the tone of voice right. Here comes the drop. Here comes the drop! Here comes the drop! That's it. Where exactly... What beat does that start on? That's it. Right on beat three. And then it goes up, right? Up, 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 up. Here comes the drop! Don't worry, it's gonna go up. Cool. Okay, now we're gonna throw a pitch shifter on there. Uh, we're gonna automate the pitch of this, meaning we're shifting it over time. Didn't need to turn on elastic pitch, but I did. Okay. It's going to start here and it's going to shift upwards. Okay, we could go higher. There it is. Cool. Okay, sweet. Let's take a listen from uh, from the beginning to like that point, uh, and then I'll drop in the original track so we don't feel totally let down.
sweet. All right, cool. That's in a really cool place. I love it. Um, let's jump into split is UK hardcore. That that sounds like a, a reasonable uh, description of the genre. I would just think of it as like house, uh, maybe electro house would be the the mindset I'd be coming at it from. But I grew up listening to like French house EDM music, so that's always kind of the lens I'm looking at EDM through, like Daft Punk, um, like Boys Noise. Uh, um sebastian uh folks like that hey what's up puddles thank you so much uh, a budget eight string that sounds great out of the box uh it, the ibanez beginner eight string is great uh, and agile guitars make some really amazing stuff on a budget uh okay let's listen to the song i've got for and i'm just gonna save this the song is now called dread it was called emmy uh this is a song i wrote last night while playing metroid dread um alone in the dark <laughs> And I was terrified. Uh, so we got, we actually have lyrics and everything on this one. We're going to, I think, all right, well, let's take a quick listen to this. I think this is going to change. I, I know this is going to change because I've been working on it kind of in my head all day. But this is what I have right now. I think the vocals need to be very different from what they are right now. But I think this is a start. So take this with a grain of salt. We're probably going to re-record all the vocals tonight um, and have something totally different, probably in a different key. By the end of it, but let's take a listen. Here's uh, here's Dread, uh, my my Metroid Dread song, and I'll pop the lyrics up on screen so you, so you can hear them too. Uh, let's make sure this is all cool. Okay, that's there. Let's take a listen. Creeping slowly through the tunnels of a cavern somewhere deep on TV or the parasites are somewhere here. I don't know, but I can feel them here. Passing through a doorway made of like the colors fading, something isn't feeling right. It's getting closer, I can hear it. Right. Hiding around the corner, creeping through the walls, climbing on the ceiling, echoing its wall. There's no escaping. Okay, so that's what I got so far. Um, that yeah, Jetbot vibes, absolutely. I mean that that lick. Let's take the vocals out for a second. You hear the crazy lick here, and uh, and I think this one's in. This one's in Dog Gods, right? So yeah, there's. I mean, those are my those are like my my go to grab bag of tricks, uh, and I I felt like. Um, I don't know if anybody knows the song by Knife Party Centipede, uh, which is like this great classic dubstep track. Um, that that has this same vibe of just like uh, this crazy this, that thing, but with like EDM, um, and that's kind of the feel I wanted to capture for this chorus. Let's take a listen to just the chorus uh, without the vocals, so you can hear what's going on there. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, Knife Party was so good. They're still so good. They're uh, that's two former members of Pendulum, the drum and bass band from the UK, uh, who decided to just start making like really sick EDM music as well. Um, so, uh, thanks, Bloopers. I I actually think this might do really well. We'll see. I I'm going for like, there's there's this whole genre of like original songs written about games, right? Um, like what's what's his name? The guy who writes like all the f like Five Nights at Freddy's stuff uh or or like bendy and the ink machine songs like those go huge and i feel like this could i don't know we'll see we'll see i, I think it could be good so um let's talk about where i want to take this uh and and the first thing i want to do is uh yeah scrap these vocals <laughs> all of them 
because <laughs> I did them at five o'clock this morning in the vocal booth I built over there. Uh, so my voice was not like awake or anything, but I've been warming up all day. I, I think it's in better shape and I want to change the key of these guitars. So what we're going to do, uh, believe it or not, we're going to just hit this button and done. <laughs> That's better. Um, although this guitar got missed, didn't it? You're right. I'm sorry, Steven. They're Australian. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, this has to go too. Whoops. Missing everything here. There we go. Okay. And the reason I did that, first off, fun fact, I didn't record this on an eight string. I recorded this on my seven string in standard tuning and I pitch shifted it down now seven half steps and it sounds dirty, right? Uh, and the reason for that is, one, I like the string tension on my 7 right now better. I think I want to go for slightly heavier strings on the low end for my 8. Uh, and two, the uh, the battery in my 7 string, my 8 string died, and I haven't had a chance to like just go to CVS and buy a new battery. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have a 7 string for now. And it's working. It's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, a quiet part to maybe, maybe, I, I, I don't know, maybe. I don't, I'm bad at quiet vocals. <laughs> I do loud stuff, uh, but uh, speaking of loud stuff, it's going to get louder because I want to add like a higher, really belted vocal to the chorus, um, but I couldn't do that in the key it was in before. I think I can do it in this key. We might have to go lower, which is wild, uh, but we're going to start with these vocals in the verse uh, because they're easy. Uh, so let's, I'm going to move my lyrics up here so they're not obscuring Pro Tools view, but you can always scroll back if you want to see the lyrics. Um, I'll post them in the Discord later or something. Yeah, there's definitely got to be some grit in the chorus for sure. Uh, it, and this should put it more into my range. Uh, I kind of have this nice, like, E to B range starting to get comfortable with. I, I'm taking a lot of vocal lessons right now with uh, Lucas Magyar from Vale of Maya. Um, and he's really, really helping me with my high range. Uh, it's helping a lot. I've only had a couple lessons with him so far, but I, I went from literally not being able to sing anywhere near that range to uh, like actually kind of starting to have some some function there. I won't call it good yet. Uh, he's still got a lot of work to do on me, but uh, but it's coming. So uh, let's hit these uh, let's hit these vocals in the verse, and then we're gonna we're gonna stack a little intro onto the beginning of this. But let's start with these vocals. I need to set these back to this input. Check one, two. Okay. And actually, I need to make a new input that doesn't have my stream. Because I have like a, a compressor and stuff on here so you guys can hear me. Uh, but I don't want that going through that for the recording. Check one, two. Okay, that's more like it. All right, let's do some singing. Uh, choo, choo, choo. There we go. Ah, here I am. Hello. Okay. Uh, I'm going to record some vocals. Let's see what happens. Def Trap. Uh, honestly, I can tell you this as a... I can't do this with a straight face. With all this reverb on. Hang on. Okay, real real quick. Anybody who's worried about taking lessons uh, because you're worried the teacher's going to judge you for uh, how you're singing or how you're playing right now, I promise, as a teacher, we are literally never even thinking of that. We are always just listening to you like, okay, I need to work on this and that, and we're going to fix this, and we're going to start here. Like, we would never, ever, ever even remotely judge you uh, based on your technique because we are always in the mindset of, like, a mechanic trying to fix what's going on in there. Uh, like, a mechanic doesn't get angry at the car. They just look at it, and they're like, okay, got to fix this and that, and got to loosen that, and okay. Um, so it's... I promise, don't ever worry about feeling bad in lessons. Your teacher is not even capable of judging you. Um, okay. Back to the reverb, Mike. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
Tori for some vocal harmonies? Uh, maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to start with me. If I, have to, if I have to get her involved, I will. No, I love working with her. She doesn't always love working with me, but I love working with her. Tori is my wife, for those without context. Okay. The hell is Joe Biden? I can't, I can't do a Joe Biden impression. I got nothing. Okay. Oh, all right. Creeping slowly through the tunnels of a cavern somewhere deep on the other. Parasites are somewhere here. I don't know, but I can feel them near. Oh, shoot. I was singing on the wrong key. Because of this dang part. There we go. Silly Dean. Creeping slowly through the tunnels of a cavern somewhere deep on the other. Parasites are somewhere here. I don't know, but I can feel them near. Passing through a doorway made of like a colors fading, something isn't feeling right. It's getting closer. I can hear it. Okay. We are going to double track that to make it sound a little thicker. Creeping slowly through the tunnels of a My mouth did a weird thing in that, hang on. Creeping slowly through the tunnels of a cavern somewhere deep on the other. Parasites are somewhere here. I don't know, but I can feel them near. Passing through a doorway made of like a colors fading, something isn't feeling right. It's getting closer. I some harmonies that come in on the second half singing just a little higher I don't know but I can feel them near passing through a doorway made of like a colors fading something isn't feeling right it's getting closer I can hear it I don't know but I can feel them near Passing through a doorway made of like a Colors fading, something isn't feeling right It's getting closer, I can hear it Cool There is our verse I kind of thought about doing an octave above Let's try an octave above, see how it feels Might feel weird Got a nervous tone at the beginning. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to lean into that a little, Death Trip. Creeping slowly through the tunnels of a. No, it's not feeling right. It's not feeling right at all. I can feel it. I thought about that, but I, I used feel at the end of the last, the last stanza, uh, and I like that I can hear it because you can hear it. It's that beeping that comes closer and closer, and that's what sets you off first. It's that beeping, and that's what I did here. Uh, for context, and this. Okay, so that Emmy sound is just me tapping on the strings with a pick like this. So that's fun. Okay, uh, back to recording vocals. red screen.
Oh, whoops, you couldn't hear me. Sorry. Hello. Okay. Uh, we're going to stack a whole bunch of tracks for this one. And this doesn't have reverb. Star Wars laser taps. Yes. Uh, similar idea, although that is like, um, that was a slinky, right? Uh, a metal slinky with a, a transducer mic at one end, and they tapped the other end of it, and it was the sound of like, it's crazy. You got to watch the sound design on Star Wars. That's so cool. This first drop. No, I'm going right into it, man. This is this is like a vocal track first and foremost. I'm I'm totally selling out with the vocal track on this one. There's not even going to be a solo. I feel terrible. Um, okay. Uh, so this is just going to be a bunch of screams of dread on different notes. Dread. That's our first note we're going for. Whoa. Dread. Let's see if I can get a little more grit on that. get a voice crack okay we're not we're not gonna do that at all uh we're gonna go to the next one up Dread. that note whoa Dread. there's gonna be a lot of voice cracks tonight folks <laughs> we might have to do a, a little commercial break for me to go get a glass of water Dread. Dread. Yeah, we're definitely getting water. Dread. Dread. Uh, okay, and then full scream on a high B. Dread. That note, uh, but it's going to be really dirty. I got to hydrate, I know. Dread. One more like that. And then we'll do some kind of low guttural stuff. Dread. Dread. <laughs> it's so bad. Dread. Doing the arms helps for some reason. <laughs> Oh yeah, going for big Doom vibes, Death Trap. That feels decent. Okay, Decapitator's getting absolutely destroyed there. Cool. We're just going to nudge these so the first syllable of Dread, that, that first consonant really lines up for everybody. Okay, now it all feels just a little late, so we're going to nudge it back a hair. Good. And we're finally just going to clip that beginning and make it a little tighter. Was that ML4000? This is ML, uh, yeah, so this is a mastering limiter. This makes things louder. Uh, this kind of like sets a, a box you want your volume to be in, and it just squeezes everything to the top of that box so it really feels like up front and in your face right here. That's that's what it does. Yeah, I'm Italian. We sing with our hands and and scream with them, apparently. Uh, all right, we're going to do the lead uh, lower octave vocal, I guess. Uh, this will just be normal range. And then I'll do like a screamy one an octave above that, probably. But I'll go get some water before we do that part. Okay, chorus. Dread. 
You should be able to hear me now. Midnight. Have a good night. Okay, I will be right back, y'all. One second. I might see a commercial. Oh, you might just be Mark Fair. It's hard to say. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. I'm back. All right. Let's see if I can even get into this range. Let's see if it feels good. We're going to try this out. Might be rough. We'll see. I, I know. My mic, when I'm talking through that, it's a lot quieter. I know. Uh, this should be good, though, right? This volume's good. I'll try to turn this on when I'm talking. Okay.
James Hetfield impression after I don't need my vocal cords for the rest of the night, Tercero. I think we're literally going to hit this one phrase at a time. Something I learned about singing, especially at this like kind of higher level, is that singers will literally hit lines one by one uh, because the placement of the mouth has to be like set up perfectly. And then once you've got it in place, you want to just like do it at, at before you move or anything. It's it's super interesting the way you need to build up this this like muscle memory in a way that you haven't before okay uh climbing on the ceiling echoing its call Okay, I don't think we're going to double track this because it's it's rough. I might do it again in the morning or something. Um, let's see how this is feeling. Right, let's finish it out. Let's finish the job. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, there's a great video on Chris Lipe's channel with Spencer and with Lucas, my vocal teacher, um, going through like how they record metal vocals for Periphery and for Vela Maya. And it really is fascinating to see, like, just how granular it gets, these little pieces. Yeah, Chester Bennington, I mean, Chester Bennington was literally, absolutely one of a kind. Um, real, real ridiculous technique. <laughs> Mike Patton. Mike Patton is inhuman. Mike Patton has, like, achieved vocal mastery on a level nobody will ever understand. <laughs> Maybe you can run, but you can never hide. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, that's all we're going to do for that. Uh, we are going to distort and auto-tune the heck out of that to make it listenable. Boy, I'll tell you that. I'll be the first to admit I'm not a great vocalist, but I can stack enough parts to make it sound listenable. That's my skill set. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I was I was really happy with how these lyrics came out. And it really, it really is just a hundred percent 
about how being in an Emmy zone makes me feel. Because <laughs> it's a very specific feeling. Uh, okay, this is going to get its own track, I think. Because there's some very particular stuff I want to do with this. Uh, starting, not the least of which, with auto-tune. Boy, howdy. I'm going to turn down Pro Tools so you don't have to hear this too much. This is going to be the worst singing you've ever heard, folks. You ready? You ready? Bad. It's going to be rough. Let's hear just how much we can do with that. Uh, and this is going to make you really doubt that I could ever sing anything. Let's just hear how that affects this beginning. What we end up with. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's get the rest of this tuned up. Yeah, that's great. Super good range, buddy. <laughs> While that's going, I'll tell you a story about um, when I was taking a Pro Tools class in college. Oh, cool. It's done. When I was taking a Pro Tools class in college, um, we uh, one of the things the professor would do uh, would bring in multi-tracks from real professional songs uh like we had ain't no mountain high enough uh we had superstition from stevie wonder but the most interesting one was since you've been gone by kelly clarkson um he brought in and in the chorus he wanted to show us just how many like vocals were stacked and it was like 10 vocal tracks stacked in the chorus you had a bunch of main melodies and then a bunch of harmonies here harmonies you didn't hear about harmonies you didn't notice and then all the way at the top is what sounds like just an absolute chipmunk shifted up a pitch octave and, and, and like completely distorted to hell, just like, Sister be God! and that's in the mix. So there's always something like this in there, getting the sound you want. Uh, it, it, you just never know what it's going to be. So it, this, I'm not alone in this. Yeah, Since You've Been Gone, the Kelly Clarkson song. Which is a great song, by the way. Yeah, I'm probably re-recording these in the morning. But these will do for now. All I'm doing is drawing in the notes I know it should be. Oh, thanks, young viper.
Okay. That's enough of that. Enough, and we never had to hear it again. Okay, now what's going to make this lock in is actually auto-tuning the good vocals now. Hiding around the corner, creeping through the walls, climbing on the ceiling, so, knowing it's called. Yeah, honestly, like auto-tune and uh, time alignment, which is something I'll show you in a second, are the two most important factors for getting a great vocal, uh, like by far. It's never ending every step you feel it dread. Hiding around the corner, creeping through the walls. And you'll see I don't actually go that hard on autotune. When it's like in a good range. Although it looks like I drifted really far north on this one. Hiding round the corner, creeping through the walls, climbing on the ceiling, echoing its call. Have a good night, Abby. Death Trap, I'd love to see an animation for this. Hiding round the corner, creeping through the walls, climbing on the ceiling, echoing its call. There's no escaping. Whoops. These are all too high. There's no escaping. There's nothing left but maybe you can run. But you can never hide starting to lose track of how many times you died every you feel it red. Okay. We're going to turn down the intensity on that. <laughs> that sounds awesome, Def Trap. Hiding around the corner, creeping through the walls, climbing on Now we're applying that same tuning to the other take. There's no escaping. What's up, Eduardo? There's nothing left but Maybe you can run, but you can never hide. Starting to lose count of how many times you've died. It's never ending. Every step you feel it dread. Hiding. That's okay, Fakiri. Boy, that high vocal's rough. Let's do some distortion to it so we don't hear it as much. Creeping slowly through the tunnels of a 
turn somewhere deep on see the other. Parasites are somewhere here. I don't know, but I can feel them near. Passing through a doorway made of leather. Colors fading, something isn't feeling right. It's getting closer, I can hear it. Hiding round the corner, creeping through the walls. Climbing on the ceiling, and the wind is cold. There's no escaping. There's nothing left but. Maybe you can run, but you can never hide. Starting to lose count of how many times you die. So I struggle with that too, Blueburst. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a great ton of control over my grit. It just kind of happens in certain ranges for me. Um, and it'll happen in certain situations. Uh, so I, I can't help you much there. What I can say, um, for some people it helps to introduce what they call vocal compression in there. Like the sound when you go like, <sighs> like that sound. If you introduce that into your singing voice just a little bit that feeling you can kind of get some grit sometimes like yeah and then you bring in a little bit of compression yeah yeah and, and then you can as my voice teacher put puts it you can move it backwards in terms of placement um or forwards so he has me do this exercise this uh, he calls it the texture exercise where he'll he'll have me start right in the middle and then move it back and then forward and it sounds like this, yeah, and you just kind of get control over the placement of your voice uh, and it, it helps a lot. Um, I'm still working on all of it a lot, but uh, that's all. Hey, have a good night, Fakiri. Yeah, I'm just giving away all his secrets on here. Yeah, all right, this is feeling cool. I'm, uh, I'm feeling burnt out on it. Feeling embarrassed about how my vocals came out. <laughs> Uh, I do think the music video for this will be out on uh, on Sunday, I think, if this goes the way I think it will. Uh, I want to show you guys something else I was working on earlier today. Uh, this morning, I was playing with... Let's see. This out. Okay. Uh, this is yeah. There it is. Uh, so I, I was sketching out a couple um environments for a green screen background for uh this one. Uh, this I got this kind of darker aesthetic, which uh will look like this when rendered. Oh, this takes forever the first time. I have a twenty eighty. And this always takes forever this first time. Hey, thank you so much, Puddles. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> that means a lot. It's loading. Okay, gonna take forever. Uh, but what I got here is, this is just a free corridor model I found online, and I tweaked a lot of the textures to feel uh, a bit more uh, fitting uh, of the vibe I was trying to get on the song. Uh, this isn't a great representation of it. It really looks a lot darker and cooler. Um, yeah, this takes like five minutes the first time. This is in Blender, uh, which is a free open source uh, piece of software, which is really awesome. Uh, incredible for 
literally anything you can imagine doing, mostly 3D like artwork and animation, but it's also got like a full like Photoshop type image editor. Uh, I think there's a full movie editor and even like audio program in here. Like literally anything you could imagine. Yeah, Def Trap, it is, it does not look like this. It, man, uh, this first render takes forever because uh, it's loading the render kernels, whatever that means. Um, but my 2080 is lightning fast most of the time. Come on, buddy. While that's loading, I do have another one. Am I in edit mode? What's happening? What am I doing? There we go. Um, there we go. I have this one as well, which is a, a bit lighter. Uh, this is for like the first Emmy zone kind of scene where most of them are kind of like this, this eerie gray look, right? That load yet? Nope. Taking its time. Yeah, I'm going to kill it. It's okay. Um, how do you make an audio spectrum? Like, uh, like an audio spectrum visualizer effect. There's a lot of programs that'll do it. Uh, I usually use After Effects for that. Like if you see the one in my Gempbot video or the ones in the background of like my Kingslayer cover and stuff, that's all made in After Effects usually. Um, but there's plenty of other programs that'll do it. There, uh, there's visualizer websites. I use a site called Spectre to make uh, all the visualizers for my 24-7 Friday Night Funkin' Radio. Um, images in high school take absolutely Norberto. I would leave stuff on to render overnight all the time. Uh, yeah. Totally. I think this will do. Yeah, I have cycles X somewhere. Oh, now it's rendering. Look at that. Let's see what this turns out like. If you try to run Blender, it's explode. <laughs> Yeah, I did not have a good Blender setup until, like, literally this year. Um, there we go. You can see it looks a lot cleaner, a lot more. Look at those reflections. They're beautiful. Just going to finish up denoising. that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Cool. So that's nice, right? Um, and then uh, we, can, we can save that. Yeah, yeah, pre xenomorph hall. Yeah, like the hallway that uh what is it? It's the one the one that comes out in in uh in Prometheus, right? That's exactly what it is. Uh okay, then we'll jump over to this other one. This kind of darker one. Let's take a look. See how this comes out. Hey, what's up, Beanie Boy? I hate to say it, I'm gonna be wrapping up soon, I'm sorry. <laughs> Put on some background music. Yeah, see, that's looking a lot moodier, a lot cooler, right? So, so we got those two. I'm going to use those as green screen backgrounds. Um, and, uh, and those will be sick, I think. Yeah, I'm going to render them in like 6K so I can use them really big. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun. And you, and you can get it from a whole bunch of different angles, too. So, like, we'll get some at... happening ah <laughs> i lost it there you are we'll get a few different angle shots like that looks cool you know you can get you can get a whole bunch of different ones that's all it is <laughs> it looks cooler than it is <laughs> it's just it's just this, uh, but it comes out looking really sick. Yeah, I, I render stuff at really high um, uh, uh, resolutions because uh, it gives me a lot more flexibility. Like, I shoot all my video in 4K, even though I edit in 1080. 
uh, because I can zoom up, I can I can cut in real close on the guitars, and uh, if I'm doing that with a 3D rendered background, I gotta have really high resolution to do that. Also, shooting at higher resolutions makes um, uh, green screen work a lot better, so I'm, I'm definitely doing that for this one, which I want to do green screen on. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to wrap things up there. Thank you all so much for hanging out with, uh, with all the crazy stuff I, I did tonight. Whether it was, uh, uh, you know, sketching our way through Bob and Bossip's split, or recording some really genuinely god-awful vocals on a song. Um, Beanie Boy, honestly, I don't think you missed that much tonight. <laughs> like... There were some there were some weak ass vocals. Uh you can you can go hear the sketch of uh of Dread, which is my new original song coming out this weekend. Um but uh but other than that, I don't I don't think you missed that much tonight. <laughs> no, I had fun. I had a good time tonight. It was a blast. Uh I'm not always I'm I'm so, you know, you know how I am about myself. Hey, thank you so much, Puddles. I'm I'm very happy to be an unproblematic, supportive, and awesome YouTuber. Thank you so much. I do try really hard to be like uh, as 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 boring as possible i i'm like incapable of of having drama i i'm so immediately uh uh turned off by it that i will stay far far away from anything like that anyway uh thank you all so much for watching i love you all very much and uh i'll see you in the discord and uh i'll see you tomorrow morning for the premiere of um tori has the drama <laughs> she does <laughs> I'll see you in the morning for the premiere of Run from uh, Friday Night Funkin' vs. Bob. Uh, and then this weekend for the premiere of Dread, which I'll be talking about all week. Don't worry, you won't miss it. Uh, you guys rock. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.